Hi, hi, hi. Howdy. Hello. How you doing? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing, students? It's Friday. How are you today, students? Tired. I'm Tired. pretty good. Pretty good. What huh? about you? <laughs> I'm doing pretty happy today. Very happy because it's vacation time, huh? We're gonna have vacation, Holy Week vacation. Yes or no? Are you going no. to have vacation? No. No? You're going to work or study? Work. Work. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Well, money is good. Money is good also. Estoy acá. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, this is basic module two, correct? Basic module two. Welcome, everybody. Let's go over the attendance. I have 19 people connected. That's great. Let's start with um, Alba Luz Cruz de Vasquez. Are you in the house? Andrea Elizabeth Gonzalez Burgos. Carlos David López Amaya. Present no. teacher. Okay, thank you. Cla Carlos. Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Present. Claudia, I'm sorry, Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Present. Olivares Racinos, excellent. Um, Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present teacher. And Diana also, correct? Okay. Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Rodriguez. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Here. Thank you. Okay. Jesse Rocio Pastran de Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Josue Asael Orellana Mejia. Juan Jose Garcia Méndez. Present teacher. Karen Jamilet Pérez Martínez. Carlos Xiomara Centeno de Valiente. Presente. Thank Present. you. Thank you. Crisia Gabriela Barrera Menjivar. Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar. Present teacher. Thanks. Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Already. Marlon Nivardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Already. Noelia Elizabeth Nunez de Castro. Ovidio Alexander Guevara Argueta. Present. Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Patricia Jamilet Martinez Landa Verde. Present teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. All right. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present. Upa. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. All right. Tamar, ¿tú puedes participar ahora? Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes. All right. Tatiana Elizabeth Ramos Gómez. Uh, hi, teacher. Es Lisa. Oh. Tú eres quien estás malita, ¿sí? Uh, no. Oh, ok. I got confused. All right. Eh, fíjese que le puedo comentar algo. Claro. Fíjese que a veces sí me cuesta bastante entrar porque ahorita estuve intentando desde las 7.50. ¿Le cuesta no entrar? No sé por qué. Sí, no sé por qué. Antes rápido entraba, pero hoy sí se me está costando. No sé por qué. <coughs> bueno, inténtelo en los últimos cinco minutos de las 7.55 a las 8. 
Teacher, yo igual estaba intentando ingresar desde las 7.55 y no me dejaba, me decía que estaba en otra reunión. Bueno, cuando sea así, traten de desloguearse y volverse a loguear nuevamente. Tal vez les funciona así. Ok. Ah, ok. Igual no estaba cuando pasó lista, teacher, porque soy de las primeras. What's your name? Andrea Elizabeth. González. Sí. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. How Igual about... yo, teacher. Acabo de entrar, perdón. Ok, Miss, ok, Miss. Ya, de todas maneras, volvemos a pasar lista. No worries. Okay. Eh, tengo a Telma Jamilet Hernández Mosquita here. Present. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. Present, teacher. And Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present, teacher. All right, perfect. Bueno, quiero felicitarlos por su asistencia. Excelente. Uh, bueno, let's bring it on. Let's bring it on. Y me mandaron homework, ¿verdad, guys? Thank you. Y las disculpas del caso el día de ayer, pues, se fue la electricidad justo, justo al inicio, hacia las ocho. So, that's why we didn't have class yesterday. Pero sí estuve viendo las tareas. Nice job. Nice job. En ese caso, hagamos un little conversation, right? How do you go around? How do you go around, Wilfredo? How do you go around? Do you walk? Do you take the bus? Do you drive a car? Do you take an Uber? Do you ride a bicycle? Do you ride a horse? How do you how do you get around, Will? Acuérdense que puede ser get around o puede ser go around. Estamos hablando de transportations, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sir. Eh, queda la luna. <laughs> está, está a little rusty. Estamos a little rusty, como nos afecta una, un día de vacación, ¿verdad? Vaya, Andreita, ayúdele usted. How do, you get, how do you get around, Andrea? How do you get around? Oh, I get around by bike. By bike? Yes. You mean bike, bike, or or motor, or motor bike, motorcycle? Uh, no bike. Bike, bike. Okay. Great, bike, great, bike. great, great. Excellent. Can you tell me, uh, how does a family member in your family, of course, get around? Okay. Mm. Uh, my mom gets in um, by. My mom Ouch. gets. Uh, <laughs> se me olvidó, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Any <laughs> help? Car. Any help from yeah. the class? Any help? Um, for example, my mom. My mom. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my mom <laughs> gets around by car, for example. Bing, 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 uh, bing, bing, bingo. Yes. For example, uh, my mother. My mother drives the person, letter S, yeah, drives mm -hmm. a car. My father, my father walks. My father mm -hmm. walks. Yeah. I ride a motorcycle. How about you? How about you, volunteers? How about you, my volunteers? Raise your hand. For example, with my brothers, Hugo, get around bus. Vaya, y le vamos a poner la S al verbo. ¿Dónde está el verbo ahí, hey, sir? Es Hugo. El my verbo. Brother. ¿Cuál es el verbo en esa oración que usted me acaba de decir? Get around bus. No, solo el verbo, quiero yo. I think it's get. Yes. Ya, yeah. tenemos que identificar el verbo, ¿ok, Hazer? El verbo es get. Entonces, cuando yo lo conjugo en tercera persona, es decir, hablo de él, ella o, o esto, el verbo va a ir modificado con una letra S. Gets. A ver, todos. I get around by bus. Repeat, I get around by bus. 
I get around by bus. You get around by bus. You can get around. You 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 get around by bus. Tercera persona. He. He gets around. He gets around by bus. He gets around by bus. He gets, gets around. He gets around. My brother gets around by bus. And my sister gets around by bus too. Do you understand? Yes. No. Repeat. We get around by bus. We, we get around by bus. They, another group of people apart, they get around by bus. Okay, okay. Um, let's continue with the conversation. Okay. How do you get around? And how does a family member get around? Volunteers? Do I have volunteers? Um, my brother gets around by motorcycle. Excellent. My brother gets around. No sé si escucharon la, la letra S que hizo Andrea ahí. La pronunciación. Yes. Ok, sí, fue entendible. My brother gets around. Ok, todos estamos ya familiarizados con get around y gets around. Usemos la otra forma. ¿Quién se acuerda? Got. Got. Excelente, oh. Juan. Good job. Sí, Juan, ¿verdad? ¿Quién fue? Ok. El verbo, la otra forma es go around. Go. G-O. La letra O, ¿verdad? G-O. Y la tercera persona? Go. Go. Goes around. Go. Ok, Go. vamos a decir el ejemplo personal y el ejemplo de tercera persona. Ese es el reto. Y van a levantar la mano. Raise your virtual hand. For example, in my case, in okay. my case, I go around by motorcycle. I go around by motorcycle. Right? It's very exciting. And my father goes around by car. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Can you tell me your example now, guys? Personal and third person. A ver, ¿quién se atreve? Usando go and go. I go around by bus. My mom go, goes around by car. Vamos a pulir esa pronunciación. A ver todos. Go. 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 Third person? Go. Go. Goes. Go. Go. Goes. Go. Ahora, el verbo frase, el verbo frase es desplazarse, transportarse con la preposición around. Vamos a decir go around. Repeat, go around. Go around. Go around. Go around. Go around. Go around. I go around. Todos, I go around. Go around. You go around. You go around. You go around. You go around. He goes around, goes, goes, he goes around, she, yeah, she goes around, she goes around, we, we go around, we go around, and they go around. They go around. ¿Quién me tenía la manita arriba? ¿Era Tamar? ¿Quién era? ¿Qué era? Yo ya no me fijé. Alguien me la tenía arribita y la bajó. A ver, a ver, a ver. Yes, I am. Ah, okay, Tamar. Go ahead. Okay. I go around by bus. Bus. Bus, sorry. My sister goes around by bus. Okay, so you go around okay. by bus and your sister goes around by bus too. Yes. That's good. That's good. That's good because now the transportation in El Salvador is more secure, right? It's more secure. Vaya Hazel nos manda un chat. Dice, my mother got. Creo que nos confundimos de verbo ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. Se nos fue la T de más quizás ahí, Tamar, ¿ok? Y 
Bueno, another volunteer, ya no. Tenemos otro chat. My mother got. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Ok, Elena, go ahead. Um, ok. I go around by car and my father goes around by motorcycle. Ok, excellent. You go around by car and your father goes around by motorcycle. Ok. That's yeah. a very uh, risky transportation, but it's very convenient at the same time. Go ahead, Tatiana. Shoot your example. I go around by bus. My sister goes, goes around by car. A ver, a ver. Esa pronunciación, tercera persona. Goes. Goes. Go. I go. go. You go. He goes. She goes, it goes, we go, they go, okay? Sí. Let's continue, let's continue. Pay attention to this video now. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And uh, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we are talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. 
we're going to use this not for the pronouns he, she, and it. And the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples. I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject, doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. To work is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you finish this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Alrighty, let's analyze Don't. this video. Cool. Right. Let's see. Let's see. What we have here is the formula, as you remember. Yes. Subject. Repeat. Subject. 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 Verb. Subject. Verb. Verb. And Verb. complement. 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 Now, remember. Remember. For the subjects he, she, and it, we need to modify the verb with the letter S, okay? If this is affirmative, this is affirmative. Para las afirmativas. I right? is the subject. Walk is the verb. And um, to school is the complement. Let's I walk to school. Repeat, I walk to school. I walk to school. I walk to school. Ahora, el tiempo presente, guys, sirve para hablar de las rutinas. Entonces, es importante siempre um, decir, eh, si no es la frecuencia, pues... Eh, un marcador de tiempo, ¿verdad? And let me share my screen a little bit. For example, él dice, I walk to school. Okay, vamos a decir un marcador de tiempo para el tiempo presente. Simple, every day. Repeat, I walk to school every day. Cuando está, veamos la fórmula. Aquí está. Subject. Repeat. Subject. 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 Verb. Walk. Complement. 
y yo a esto, a esta belleza, al final le llamo, bueno, se le llama time marker. Repeat. Time, time marker. marker. Es un marcador de tiempo. A ver, a ver, denme entonces ustedes un ejemplo. Usemos otro verbo. I take the bus. A ver, examples. Tell me, tell me, tell me, talk to me. I go to school. I walk to school. Ya está. Denme otro ustedes. Come on. Do I? I, I drive. I drive. 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 Okay, I drive. Uh huh. I drive. Drive a car. I drive a car. Uh huh. To the church. To the church. Muy bien. To the church. Perfect. Falta un marcador de tiempo. Pongamos otro marcador de tiempo. Pongamos on Sundays. Usualmente es en los domingos. Right? Um, on Sundays. ¿Les parece? ¿Cuál es el, cuál es el uh, verb? ¿Quién me identifica el verb? Hey, sir. ¿Dónde está el verb? Drive. Correcto. No. Drive. 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 A ver, Drive. ¿quién me identifica el complement? The church. The church. A car, the church. car to the, to church. the Church. Who can identify the subject? What is the subject? I. I, I obviously, I. right? <laughs> <laughs> and who can identify the time marker? On Sundays. On Sundays. Sundays. You guys are so intelligent. A ver, denme otro ejemplo, a ver si es cierto. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Um, for example, I run for tortillas every day. Okay. I run. Is it necessary? Yes. <laughs> you can say I run to get the tour. Tell us every, every day. day. Excellent. Okay. Can you repeat? I run to get the tortillas every day. Wow, that's a very nice pronunciation. Okay, a ver, alguien más? Go ahead. Quiero cinco, come on. Podría ser con, con he? He works near Ya vamos a llegar, ya vamos a llegar. No. Ahorita deme lo personal, deme lo personal ahorita. Uno más, uno más. Yeah, uno I, más. I, work, I work near here every day. I work near here here every day here oops every um. every day voy a agregar uno yo voy a decir i i have to um use a computer At work. Okay. I have to use a computer at work. Bueno, estos ejemplos los vamos a pasar a tercera persona. ¿Les parece? Third person. A ver, el primero. Put, el tercero, ¿cuál es? El lunes. He walks to school every day. Pardon, pardon, repeat. He walks tercera to school persona. every day. He el verbo sería walk. La walk. tercera persona de walk sería walks. walks. Agregamos S. Agregamos S y la pronunciamos, chicos. Walks. Aquí era walk. Aquí es walks. Walks. Ok. He walks to school. Ok, next. Usemos ella. ¿Cómo se dice ella? She is she riding a car to the church drives. on Sunday. Excelente. She drives a car to the church. Sin el D, quitemos el D. To church. 
She drives a car to church on Sundays. Repeat. She drives a she car. Drives a car. Drives a car to church on Sundays. Sunday. Next. They run to get. The Siempre tortilla. tercera persona. Siempre tercera persona. Uno más. He, he run. He, he run. Get. She runs. Run. I run. I run. Run. Get the tortillas every day. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Bueno, entonces ahora hagamos plurals. Hagamos plurals. Serían los plurals. Si uso work, le pongo ese aquí abajo. No, no, no es tercera persona, they correcto. Work. Es plural, they sería work. normal. They work. They work. Near here. Every day. Usemos nosotros. Nosotros. We have. We have to have use a spirit. To use a computer. Excellent. Nice job, people. Nice job. Muy bien. Vamos a la siguiente parte del video. Let's check. Here you go. Let's see. Entonces, ya sabemos hacer las affirmatives. Eso es pretty much cómo se usa uh, para hablar en afirmativo usando el simple present. Y aquí ya estamos usando action verbs. Ya no estamos usando um, solo el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, si estamos usando action verbs, cuando usamos action verbs, vamos a usar los hermosos y bellos auxiliaries. ¿Quién sí sabe los auxiliares del tiempo presente simple? A ver. ¿Do? Ajá. ¿And does? Correct. Does. Do and does. Do tiene su negativo para las oraciones negativas. ¿Cuál sería? Don't. 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 And that does, que es para las terceras personas, también tiene su forma negativa. Doesn't. 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 Ok. Vamos entonces con negatives. Eh, cuando hablamos en los negativos, la fórmula es subject, don't or doesn't, porque el don't or doesn't depende del subject, right? Si yo hablo de la primera persona, I, voy a decir don't. For example, I don't. Repeat, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. You don't. don't. You don't. don't. You don't. don't. You don't. We, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. They, they, they don't. 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 Okay. Don't. Ahora, solo para terceras personas. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. doesn't. Me están pronunciando bien, guys. Good job. Das. Doesn't. Do, don't. don't. All right, all right. Entonces, si seguimos la fórmula, I don't live far from here. Let's take a look I... at one more example. One she more doesn't... example. Solo que ahora en tercera persona. Auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time... Bueno, el teacher nos explica que um, en las negativas... ¿Se acuerdan que en las afirmativas poníamos la S, right? En las negativas, ¿no? Porque estamos usando el auxiliary. Entonces, el verbo va en su forma base. 
Okay. Okay. Let's work on some examples then. Let's work on some examples. Okay. Examples. In third person. Uh -huh. She doesn't walk to school. She doesn't walk to school. Okay, yo agrego uno. He doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a car. Next, volunteer. Hagamos con I. Eh, ¿Puedo yo? Sí. Claro que puede. Ok. Eh, I don't eat Um, treat okay. I don't eat sweet. Excellent. Thank you. Next. Help me, guys. Help me. They. Come on, come on. They don't work Thank you. Here. They don't. Work, ok, Work. también otro verbo. They don't. Mm. Oh. Ajá. Speak. Ok, Drink. they don't, they don't live. speak uh, Japanese. Huh? How's that? They don't speak Japanese. Hagamos otra con you. 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 Don't. Ah, excellent. You don't? You don't play tennis. All right, you don't play tennis. Good. Good job, people. Good job. Va, los retos, los retos. Entonces, ahora, pasémoslas a afirmativo. Primera. She? She does. She does. Estas she son walks. negatives. Oh, negatives. Walks. Cool. Negatives. All of these are negatives. So what you gotta do is you gotta transfer them into affirmatives. A ver si uh, ponemos en práctica las reglas gramaticales. ¿Cómo sería acá? She? She walks to school. Correct. She walks. Next. Come on, come on. A car. He has a car. Has a car. Has a car. Wonderful. Car. He has a car. Qué fantástico has que se puede en el verbo have and has. He has a car. Next. I eat. Third person. Third person. They. Number three. Yeah, no. number three. Third person. I Make it third person. Eat, Sí. Ah, sí, yeah, sí, you're sí. right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Thank you. I eat sweets. Eat sweets. Thank you. Good job. Next. They speak, they speak Japanese. 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 They speak Japanese. Eh, no me agreguen E ahí, guys. No hay E, solo es la, el, el sonido de la S. Speak. They speak. Mm -hmm. Correcto. They speak. They Muchos speak. me dicen they speak. Me dicen no, 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 no lleva e ahí. They speak. They speak. Japanese. They Next. Speak. Japanese. You play tennis. You play tennis. You play tennis. Correct. Play. Estoy afirmando. You play. Yeah. All right. Ahora, los reto a hacer unas preguntas con tu edad. ¿Cómo sí. nos quedaría? Dígame. Perdón, una pregunta. 
-huh. este, cuando la oración en tercera persona lleva un auxiliar como el tú o el das, no se modifica el verbo. El verbo, por ejemplo, have, porque lo veo modificado en las positivas como has. Ajá, en las negativas no. Eh, tanto en las negativas y en las preguntas, porque en las preguntas usas el auxiliar, ya sea uh -huh. do or does, y en las negativas también usas el auxiliar, ya sea don't or doesn't. Entonces, en esos escenarios, el verbo va en su forma base. Mm, ok, y también para responder preguntas cerradas, respuesta cerrada, respuesta corta. Yeah, short answers, respuestas cortas. Yes, uh -huh. that's right. Good job. Bueno, vamos a avanzar. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, let me share. Let me share. Let me share. No sé qué escuchas, Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay, one second, guys. This thing is a little stuck. Bueno, ya que vimos esto, eh, vámonos a lo que nos espera acá en el siguiente objetivo. Bueno, esta es la tarea que tienen, ¿verdad, chicos? Espero que vayan avanzando ahí. Let's see. Yes. It says, make simple present statements using irregular verbs. Los verbos irregulares eh, son los que más se usan. Ok, entonces es importante que comiencen con eso, o sea, a darle a todos esos verbos um, regulares. Bueno, irregulares se usan como que un 60-70%. Los, irregula los regulares son los que menos se usan, right? Son más comunes los irregulares. Y son más um, quizás difíciles, quizás complicados en el área de aprendérselo porque como cambian, ¿verdad? El presente cambia con el pasado y el pasado cambia con el participio y hay unos verbos que no cambian, siguen siendo uh, irregulares. Entonces, eh, hay que estudiarlos, hay que practicarlos, right? As much as possible. Let's check the chat for a moment. Sí, se escucha cortado. I'll go. Sí, he works in here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's continue. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, 
he, she, or it. These verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Work by bus. The bus. All right. <clears throat> All right. Very well. Very well. All right, there, guys. We have regular and irregular verbs, but pretty much les estamos mostrando tres verbos con los cuales estamos pues introduciéndoles a este tiempo gramatical. Okay, son el verbo have, el verbo do y el verbo go. Todos ellos son irregulars. Okay, um, para todos los subjects, por ejemplo, I, you, we, and they, para todos ellos, los verbos van a ir en su forma base. Puede decir I have, we have, they have, you have, I do, you do, we do, they do, I go, you go, we go, they go. Okay. Um, para las terceras personas, he, she, it, el verbo va a ser modificado. El verbo have es especial, right? Si tiene su propia tercera persona, es has. Third person for do, does. And the third person for go, goes. All right. Y en el grupo de WhatsApp les acabo de compartir un... Um, un link uh, que les va a mostrar todos los uh, verbos más importantes irregulares. Escojan entonces unos cinco verbos de ellos, right? Y hagan una práctica como la que hicimos al inicio, right? Un ejemplo en cualquiera de estos subjects, right? Y un ejemplo en tercera persona, right? Afirmativo. Y luego lo pasan a negativo. Esa es una súper práctica que ustedes pueden hacer para perfeccionar su gramática. All right. Let me check. Ok, acá los tenemos. We have have, has, do, das, go, goes. Okay, podemos tratar de usar estos estos uh, examples here, guys, siendo um, oraciones afirmativas. Si voy a hablar de mi persona, pues hay, ¿verdad? Y el verbo tiene que ir normal. Si hablo de uh, tercera persona, los verbos van modificados. All right. Do I have a volunteer to say one example? Using these verbs, usando estos verbos que tenemos acá ahorita. No, bueno, entonces inicio yo. All right, let me see. Puedo decir, I do exercise on Sundays. Do you understand? I do exercise on Sundays. Do you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say a third person example. Uh, my sister has a nice car. My sister has a nice 
Oscar. Tres participaciones vamos a tener, creo yo. A ver, hands up. Raise your virtual hand for your participation. Um, no, no se vayan a caer del, 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 del um, spot, um, right, guys? Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of work. She has a lot of homework. Correct. Correct. Good job. Okay, vamos, Elena. Go ahead. ¿Eras tú, Elena? No. Oh, okay, okay. ¿Quién más? Yes, ¿Quién sir. más? ¿Quién más? Yes, ¿Quién yes, más? Yes. Sorry. Who else? Who else? No problem. No problem. Who else? Who else? Me, teacher. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I make food every sun Saturday at noon, and my mom has a pet. ¿Puedes hacer un ejemplo de nosotros? Es decir, todos nosotros. Yes, for example, we do um, a lot of homework for this week. Yes, that's right. Okay. Bien, alguien más, alguien más, alguien más, somebody else, participation time. Nobody else. Participation. Si usamos el verbo ir, go, goes. Um, my brother goes on vacation this week. Mm -hmm. A ver, we have chats. She goes to the university. Muy bien, Sabrina. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos, chica. To the park. Teacher. Adelante, go ahead. I go to work the next week. Okay. And my sister has a, a cat. Oh, nice. Okay, correct. Next, Daniela, go ahead. Um, my friends go to the hospital for their class every morning. Can you repeat? My friends go to the hospital for their class every morning. By a pregunta, Dani, is, is one friend or it's many friends? My friends. Por eso, pero serían uno o serían varios? Varios. Ah, vaya. Entonces ahí si son varios, es que estamos hablando del sujeto they. Entonces ahí el verbo go, ¿cómo iría? ¿Sería go o iría goes? Go. Goes. Go. They. They go. They go. My so friends correct. go. Correcto, vas a pronunciar, vas a estresar la S cuando digas friends, friends, y luego el go. My friends go. A ver, inténtalo. My friends go. My friends go to the hospital for their class every morning. Excelente, eso se oye genial, Miss Daniela. Good job. Ahora, my friends go. Dinos uno en tercera persona, ¿podrías? Yes. Let's go. Um, she goes to the hospital every morning. Excelente. Vaya, chicos, hagan sus prácticas como la hicimos al principio. Si gustan, se las comparto aquí en el chat. Y ustedes traten de hacer sus prácticas así. Y pueden mandarnos evidencia, pues, digo yo, no es que yo desconfíe, ¿verdad? Pero pueden mandarnos ahí evidencia en el grupo acá, en el chat, right um, Para ir viendo ahí sus, su progress. Ok, let's go to the attendance, ladies, gentlemen. Let's go to the attendance. ¿Cómo se sienten? ¿Han participado? ¿Sienten que han dado lo máximo en esta clase ustedes, ah? ¿eh? ¿Cómo se califican? ¿Mm? Ten. 
Excelente. <risa> I love it. I love it. A ver, este archivo de attendance. No, este es el... Let me see. 9 to 10. Give me one sec. Me dice que este es de 9 a 10. No, pues no, no es este. Este tiene que ser. All right, se me había movido. I'm sorry, guys. Alba Luz Cruz de Vázquez, are you in the house? Present, yes. Thank you. Andrea Elizabeth González Burgos. Present, teacher. Carlos David López Amaya. Present, teacher. All right. Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Present, teacher. Ok, um, Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Present. Thanks. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present. All right. Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Henry Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Present. All right, Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present, teacher. Hazel Rocío Pastran de Enriquez. Present, teacher. All right, um, Josué Azael Orellana Mejia. Missing in action. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Karen Jamilet Perez Martinez. Present teacher. There you go. Carla Xiomara Centeno de Valiente. Present teacher. Crisia Gabriela Barrera Menhiver. Present teacher. There you go. Uh, Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar. Present teacher. Marlon David Perez Chiquillo. Present teacher. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. There you go. Noelia Elizabeth Núñez de Castro. Present. Oh, all right. And Ovidio Alexander Guevara Argueta. Present. All right. Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Missing in action. Patricia Jamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. Bien, bien poderoso suena su nombre, Miss. No sé por qué. <laughs> Thank you. Tatiana Lisset Ramos Gómez. Present teacher. There you go. Telma Jamilet Hernández Mezquita. Present teacher. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. Present teacher. And Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. All right. Espero entonces sus prácticas, chicos. Right. Uh, to see your progress. Es importante que dominen esta regla, chicos. Vean que um, muchos intermedios cometen estos errores, ¿verdad? Incluso a veces los mismos americanos cometen errores en este caso. Traten de dominar lo del uso de la tercera persona. Lo confuso es en las afirmativas, right? Practice. Practice and more practice. See you next class. Goodbye. Good night, night, night. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. <laughs> Happy weekend. Happy weekend. <laughs> Bye Thank now. You. Thanks.